Hi everyone. Welcome to Basha's Coffee and Crafts playlist on the channel. Legacies Low Luxuries Arts and Crafts YouTube. Say, you watched my first DIY for 2020. I made this doll and I also made her a hand warmer. And I said I'm going to switch it out in February but I was going to use heart, a heart candy box. Well, Dollar Tree came out with these little heart pillows. So all I have to do is cut the side and insert her hand in each side and then she can carry this into the theme for February. Now today's project is made with the Dollar Tree dice. These happen to be two inches by two inches. They're small. And then I picked up the Dollar Tree lettering which seemed to be too big for these blocks. But guess what? I'm going to make do with it. If I have to trim it down or draw my own, I need to find something with my name on it. It's easy for me to find or make um, ideas with letters you can purchase in other craft stores that's already, you know, plain and ready to be painted. So you can come up with home, love, uh, welcome, all kinds of ideas. However, I never find a letter I ever. And that's the thing. Here's the letter I, which I know will fit this block. But we'll see. I'm going to make do with what I have. I purchased three of the Dollar Tree dice foam dice from the toy section the lettering for a dollar I'm using Waverly paint chalk paint for the first primer coat I'm going in with a pink and light pink to highlight the blocks and then the black lettering when I'm finished I'm going to coat it with Mod Podge acrylic sealer alrighty when I paint I can use sponge or a regular paintbrush but the first main idea is to coat the sponge foam with Waverly chalk paint. It's like it acts like a gesso when you paint canvases and your your projects that are not made from wood and you want it to soak in a little bit. You want it on a piece of foam like this is a piece of foam. You can use Waverly chalk paint. Then you can use any paint over it. Matte acrylic whatever that's what I'm going to use I, I think they would work if I used a premium primer and spray paint um, by Rustoleum where it has both the colors in one if I was to use candy pink and they do sell candy pink cotton candy pink I could spray these all right first light coat let it dry completely second coat let it dry completely but um, I'm going to do that this way, okay? So you have your choices. So let's get going with this DIY, and let's see how this turns out. And the way it really paints taken to this really nicely. Alright, look at that. Looks like I'm only going to need one coat. Like I said, this is the primer coat. I'm doing all these sides and not doing the bottom. I'll do that last. But yeah, this way really chalk paint. You can pick this up at Walmart you know and apply it generously and you stick it at the end of a skewer a paintbrush you know and just set it upright in a container to dry and do your bottom last go around it a little 
bit, smooth out the lines. I can't even see that was green. Look at that. I also saved the Dollar Tree floral bushes when I remove the flowers and use them for crafts. And I can stick it on and allow them to dry that way. And there you go. Looks like a marshmallow. Anyways, we really chalk. Alrighty, it's right where all the apple barrel paint is in Walmart's. Your apple barrel paint. This is the ones I'm going to use. Candy pink and pink cameo pink. It's called. Alrighty, wait for this to dry. They dry. I'm going to give you two different ideas of how to paint the dice. I'll demonstrate with the wooden letters under this wooden H. First, white primer. Second, another color that you like. I'm using metallic blue. Okay, this is a layering process. Now you can use beachy theme colors, you can use rustic colors. The main idea is getting another layer over the primer. I'm probably going to make this look old and give it a rusty look. So, just starting with my base, and that is this color. This is to give it a weathered look, I would say, as well. Will I do that for the dice? Um, I've already decided on changing it up. It's not even going to be my name. I have discussed that I'm doing a certain theme this year. So I am going to uh, write out and spell out the word Paris. So I still need that I. Anyhow, your first layer, allow it to dry. And then you go in with a sponge with a color that would look like rust or it's weathered. With this, it would be orange with the blue, okay? If you were doing all white and you want it to look weathered, you could do a dark brown or a black. Alrighty, what I'm going to do with Paris is paint it pink and then go in with the pink, a darker pink, to make it look like a weathered block. Now, this is going to be two different colors. Okay, and for the blacks, the light pink, the cameo pink. Yeah, I figured why my name, I know, I have a lot of things with my name on it, Bosh of my nickname that my grand girls call me, and that is Polish for grandmother. So why not make something else and for the theme this year? So all right, Paris on these blocks, but I'm giving you the basic idea of how to paint them and how to use different colors and techniques whichever you want to create and this light pink this cameo pinks just perfect in fact I could even just keep it this way and add instead of the dark pink I can add bling around this 
black. Seeing as how it is going to be a Paris theme. You know, um, Dollar Tree sells the rhinestone ribbon, the diamond mesh, we call it, and pink. So it would be great to use pink around a square on here and then the letter. And look at that, one coat of the apple barrel covered it very, very well over the Waverly chalk white. There we go. That's the color I'm using next. Okay. And for the blacks, the light pink, the cameo pink. Yeah, I figured why my name, I know, I have a lot of things with my name on it, Basha, my nickname, that my grand girls call me, and that is Polish for grandmother. So why not make something else and for the theme this year? Oh, all right, Paris on these blocks, but I'm giving you the basic idea how to paint them and how to use different colors and techniques whichever you want to create and this light pink this cameo pink's just perfect in fact I could even just keep it this way and add instead of the dark pink I can add bling around this block, seeing as how it is going to be a Paris theme. You know, um, Dollar Tree sells the rhinestone ribbon, the diamond mesh, we call it, and pink. So it would be great to use pink around a square on here, and then the letter. Look at that, one coat of the apple barrel covered it very, very well over the Waverly chalk white. There we go. That's the color I'm using next. All right, while the paint cubes dry, Let's show you how to make this letter M look weathered, metal weather, okay? The base coats are mostly you're going to work with metallics, okay? Metallic paints. What I need is to throw some orange in there first. So I take my sponge and I just dip it and then I'm just going to go around the edge of this letter. Okay? I wish I had an overhead um, tripod. I do not. This is why I haven't really did any uploading on jewelry videos. I do not have a huge tripod to hang over my desk. Okay, so you're going to go around and throw some orange in this. Let's see if I can go this way. You ready? Now I'm going in with some browns. Lot of work to make something look old and rusty. It's not easy. 
and this it just depends on what types of paints you have as well this color combination will work for me because this is what I want you can just go around it and use the end the edge of the brush all right you just want basically want some of this orange to show but not all you want some of the blue to highlight but mostly you want it rusted so you need the brown in here you ready you allow that paint layer to dry So, had the primer, white, then the blue. That blue is metallic turquoise blue, by the way. And let me show you the bottle. The deco, deco art metallic. Okay, and then I just used Apple Barrel Tropic Orange. And then I just used... Lemire metallic rust. You can leave it like this or add a little bit more color. I think I'm going to add just a hint of some gold, bright gold. We'll see. We'll see how this dries. It's right now it's wet. It looks different when it's wet than when it's dried. I did take some bright gold and I mixed it with a little bit of red. All right, now here's the difference before I get started. The M has it already. The H does not. So I'm taking this goldish red, these two colors combined. I'm basically going to go over the orange that's already on here. Okay. And this does give it a little bit of a shimmer as well. And it kind of dulls that bright orange, but yet that that orange will pop through here and there. Just here and there, just slightly. So just go over the areas that you did that orange on, that tropical orange. Now I want you to play around with colors. If this doesn't turn out the way you like it, prime it, start over. No boundaries, no rules, no restrictions in art. Art is freedom. And you just have to play around with your colors. So I wanted it rusty blue. You know, I didn't want it blackish brown like wood. I want it rusty looking. So these are the colors I'm doing. So here's your H and your M finished. 
And I hope you can see it. Okay, now here's the E. The E is not with that last color combination. See how much better it turned out in Rusty Gluggin. So I'm going over the E with this color gold and red combination and then allow everything to dry. Here it is, home with the rust. Now the heart for the O does have a piece of tin painted red. Now I can go in and rust it. I can use silver. Use silver gray and go around the edges of it. Or just leave it like this because it will be switched out. There you go. There's one idea of how to make the Dollar Tree dice look like rust. Play around with the colors. Now, since the first primer layer is dry, you will dry brush on the dark color. You will use a regular brush. All right, and you're just going to brush it on dry. You understand what I'm saying? That means you're going to dip into the paint, blot it off, and then go around and brush it. That'll make it look like it's wood. All right, and I'll demonstrate it right now. Okay. Now to debrot. Excuse me, now to dry brush this on. You take your brush, right, and you dip it in a little bit of paint. It's better to do this lightly than to do it dark at first because you can always fill in later. All right, and that's what you do you just dry brush it on. that you're gently sweeping it across if you want to dip it in the paint again don't try to move your brush around use the paints already on it like I said, you want to go lighter and then darker. Or are you just going to have to start all over again and prime it? You don't want to do that. All right? Can you see that? Now for the top. Okay, then you can go around where the curves are on this block a little bit more. That's what you want to do though. You want to dry brush. And if you're placing letters on this, don't worry so so much of the um, applying the paint on the base of the dice, but mostly on the edge of the dice. Okay. To achieve this with the black and white littering for the farmhouse look, you would do the white bank primer, and then whatever white you want. You could use a cream white, an off white for the base. 
like I used the candy, the light pink. Then you go in with black or dark brown, okay? And then you blot it off the brush. Make sure it's blotted off because you want to go in light. And then you just go across, just like this, but it will look like it's weathered wood in that color. This is pink. This is Paris. This is weathered pink. Art is freedom. So you have your choice of what you want to do. I just showed you and demonstrated two different ideas. One, this is dry brushing weathered look. And the other was using more metallics and blotting it on with a sponge in different layers and different colors to create that lust, that rust look. All right. All right, I'm going to finish up these blocks, allow them to dry again, and then apply the lettering. For those of you using makeup in your life, I do not wear makeup. I did as a teenager, but I don't wear it. And this reminds me of applying blush to your cheek. You know how you just dab that brush and then you Brush it lightly on your cheek until you achieve that color. That's another example you want to do when you're brushing this on a block like this. Like you're applying blush lightly until you can see the color that you want to achieve. And you concentrate where the curves are, you know to contour. So if this is better and the easier way to provide the example, there you go. That's why you watch my YouTube channel. I try to bring it to you in layman terms and in the best way I can and in various ways. And I also give you the option to start over again if you don't like it. I want you to play around with the colors. Look at that, I'm using light pink and dark pink. And there you go. And I think the black lettering is going to look pretty. Yeah, it dries quicker too when you're just dry brushing it. And the light picks up that darker hue, it makes it more like an average block instead of a foam toy dice, right? Here's my last one. So like yours, place some makeup on. Get all that excess color off that brush, right? See so you now. This one's going in a little dark. That's all right. You pick the side that you like the best before you apply your lettering. Okay? There you go. So yeah, you have one slightly darker than the other. And there you go. Now I just kind of evened them both out, but I don't want them even. There you go. Alrighty. This is fun. Hashtag. So far, so good.
Alright, the Dollar Tree letters seem to fit perfect on these. So we have the P and we have the A. Let me get the R. R. Oop, it ripped. Oh well. Choose your best side of the dice and add your lettering. Paris. <laughs> what are you doing, Miss Everly? Coloring the cat. Coloring the cat. Yes, you are. All right. Final photos coming up. You can see just a little hint of a dark pink. And there we go. Another DIY with Basha coffee and crafts. Paris. And so, did you enjoy this cute little DIY Dollar Tree decoration idea? You can use any wording you want any colors of paint and I did explain to you two different ways to paint the dice one to make them look rustic and rusty or two to make it look like it's wood but in a Paris theme be sure to see the video on how I created this tower of love remember our theme this year is Paris so anytime I can create on a budget, I'm going to do it. And this ended up being a light. So here we go. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy another cup of coffee right, and watch another video while you're on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe today. Hashtag artist freedom. Hashtag so far, so good. And if you want to find me on Instagram, it's legacies underscore little underscore luxuries underscore arts and i'm on facebook as well see you next time Flash.